Hey everyone, it's Amy. Today I wanted to do a reveal video of two very special items that I got over uh, the last few days. And I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to upload my Q&A video this week on time because I had out of town guests over. One of my friends from Toronto, she came to Vancouver for business and then also we have relatives coming over uh, well came they came over already and then they're saying until the weekend so I'm technically still really busy and then also um, I just ate dinner so I hope that you don't mind that I look a little bit tired but I did want to do this reveal video as soon as possible because I know you guys couldn't wait and so let's us reveal what it was in this beautiful bag while well, it looks a little bit sort of um, wrinkly right now but this is really exciting because it is my first Chanel purchase this year yes I did buy Chanel before but that was a long time ago back way when I bought my first flat bag which was a reissue in the gunmetal hardware and caviar leather which was limited at the time but I have since sold it, so I don't have actually I don't actually have any Chanel until now. So just a really small item that came in this beautiful bag with Camellia and the beautiful ribbon. And the receipt goes in this beautiful receipt holder right there. It says Chanel in the bottom. Really cute. And the item came in this really small box, small black box. Obviously, I already unboxed it, so I'm just kind of showing you what came with it. Um, and then it came in this little booklet with two versions of the, of I guess how to take care of the leather and such, and the material in different languages. So it says Chanel, and on the bottom it says Petite Maroquinerie which means um, high-end small leather goods to reveal are you guys ready i mean it's i mean it's a small item so but it's still pretty exciting because it's this beautiful classic caviar leather gold hardware um card holder the one that everyone i mean literally everyone in vancouver is trying to get but cannot get their hands on because i mean i'm sure it's not just vancouver but i just feel like of all the canadian cities vancouver is the hardest hardest ever city to get anything in the classic line so anytime you want something in black and gold especially with caviar leather it's it's almost impossible but luckily, I, I guess I, I enlisted the help of many friends, one of them being Amy Jo. She's um, a good friend of mine, obviously, uh, from YouTube. And then just also myself from just going into the store and trying to chat up with some of the essays there. In fact, I had a pretty good experience uh, when I decided to go in there and try on some flaps to see if I want them back again in my life which i will have to say yes not necessarily the classic flaps um or whatnot i do like the reissue but i actually am thinking of a boy more just because it is so rare and so hard to get our hands on one so i will wait for it but i i guess if I do ever get one in Vancouver, which is so, so, so hard in the exact leather and combo hardware that I want, then I would be, it would be like holy grail status bag. Anyway, back to the card holder. It's so pretty. I already started using it and it smells divine, like literally divine. So of course it comes with a authenticity authenticity card mine is in the 224 series so obviously it is new and it has the regular slot in front two slots on the back and the middle slot and i have already started using it i put a credit card in the front and then i have two more cards in the back so i would have like my bus pass 
and I put my driver's license on top. So that's how I have been having it. Um, it already stretched out because I did double up in cards um, the first day just because it was kind of stiff. Um, but it's already stretched out and it's only been the second day or third day actually. And I'll show you what I mean by stretching out because if you do this, you can see the card coming off. It actually will come off if I didn't stop it. So that's one con of this card holder, but it is so darn beautiful that I will, you know, I, I, I actually did not want this one to begin with. I actually wanted the, the one with the zippers, but they didn't have it yet. And so when they had this one, I just picked it up anyway, because I figured it is so hard to get anything in the classic line. Like I said, um, it's, it's just. I just decided to get it and plus I know I can get a lot of use out of it anyway as long as I put some stuff in the middle which I am so right now in the middle I have three cards plus some cash so five folded bills and um, like a receipt and another sort of like a local like those business card discount cards so I have you know quite a bit inside there so now the card slots will stay put the first day i was so scared of using my my new card case because it's so beautiful i didn't want to damage it or whatnot so i've been using it inside the pouch but um i think i'm okay now i don't really need it but look at this, this gorgeous 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 card case if you like caviar leather this card holder is actually quite puffy and pretty like when you stuff it it becomes a little thicker uh, but if you choose the other leather like the lambskin or even like the chevron uh, caviar leather it is not as puffy so i mean it's i mean i wish that this card holder was thinner but it is the nature of this classic quilted caviar leather that makes it more puffy i'm sure that with use and over time it will deflate anyway so uh, i'm okay with it i i just to me this is so beautiful like i cannot i cannot stop staring at it so looking forward to more chanel pieces over the years second unboxing would be in this box it says valentino noir on the bottom which means you already know that i got black shoes right very beautiful packaging anyway you guys probably know or i have already mentioned in my vlogs that i was really really crazy about the studded valentino shoes but i'm so scared to get any shoes especially um if they cost so much money like you know high-end luxury shoes because i have arthritis right so like if i get any shoes that is uncomfortable then it's basically a waste of money but i i almost didn't get them until i saw these pairs and here they are oh my goodness don't they sparkle but still really subtle so i decided to pick up these beautiful valentino flats aren't they gorgeous look at all this beautiful detail it's just gorgeous and the bottom is all leather the whole shoe is leather so the top the bottom and the lining and i have it in size 37 and a half they're made in Italy. so what's going to end up happening is i haven't worn them yet i have just only tried them on the carpet at home but basically before i wear them i would have to take them back to the uh, shoe cobbler or whatnot uh, and ask them to add a layer of plastic or uh, rubber i will probably do it here as well as the heel here just so that they last a lot longer because otherwise the leather the leather soles will just they will just wear off like literally after the first wear so yeah these are beautiful beautiful shoes and the story goes 
So I went in and was just shopping with my friend who came from Toronto, you know, after she was done her, uh, her day at work. And um, she has the studded heels, the four inch ones, I think, the ones that are pretty tall. And I'm like, no, there's no way I'm gonna get that. Um, and the kitten heels are really cute too. I might get kitten heels at one point, but I wanted something that I feel comfortable wearing a lot and i want you know even though they may not be my everyday shoes because they're like so expensive and i want to keep them in as nice shape as possible um i just still wanted something that will match the majority of my wardrobe and that will go well with dresses or jeans or i don't know that i can wear you know in the fall or the summer i don't mind wearing black in the summer that's fine um and so i just um i actually really liked the flats that were patent leather in the nude pinky color so it's kind of like a very blush pink that was almost nude with the uh, nude like the nude uh leather around here and gold hardware it was so pretty it literally went like i can picture that one being almost like as neutral as the black here um but the only problem with that one is because it was a patent leather um it was sort of giving me like pain here and here so it was inside the shoe and no i know even the essay said that they will loosen up leather the leather will you know stretch out and all but it's just you guys know me like i need to buy shoes that are comfortable right off the bat like if they're not then i i can already say no like automatically so as much as i love them i had to say no to them and then i explained it to her why and then she said oh why don't you try these ones because these ones they're not the patent leather they're just the regular matte sort of regular leather that is not treat it with the extra layer of plastic and so they actually stretch out even faster and they're a little bit more flexible in that sense and so i tried them on and they were a lot more comfortable i mean they are still kind of a little bit uncomfortable here but that's more towards the outer um edge i suppose like the edge here of the shoe which i know with where it will you know be more and more comfortable uh, and as far as the heel goes, it's really like there's not much more, not much of a heel. So sometimes that could be a problem, especially with people who have flat feet such as myself. Um, because you're arched, there's no arch support. These shoes would probably not be the shoes where I would be walking hours and hours with. But they are very pretty if I just, um, you know, go shopping and I won't be like walking all day long or if I just wanted to go out nice dinner out or nice day out whatever but i know i will you know be in the comfort of my car most of the time then these are perfect for that and i can be a little bit more dressy and not always have to like wear my echoes which i do and they're so worn down but i still wear them because they are excellent and very comfortable but now i have the extra sort of um option to go with especially if it's just like you know going for a birthday dinner or something like that so i cannot wait to get the heels i mean the bottoms fixed so that's it for my special reveal that you guys have been waiting for and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are having a super great weekend give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already one of my amazing subscribers and i will talk to you again very soon bye side by side they look like this obviously the twice looks a little bit more dainty a little smaller not as as well